Well, welcome back. You guys know I have the mask on. Not a big surprise there. Um, not exactly warm today. It's a nice day. Blue sky and all that, but uh, it's a little chilly. Uh, but uh, it's good enough for doing a little sanding. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we're doing. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're uh, starting to get things really, really flat. So we're basically, this is almost done. Uh, I have to put some epoxy on the front to get rid of some of the holes and stuff because we repaired that area. But the rest of it is coming out nice. We're getting sharp lines. Uh, we've done some repairs along the way. And so this piece is looking really smooth. This one's a lot of work, but again, this one's probably going to be uh, one of the most seen parts on the car. So we want to get it nice and smooth. Um, anyway, I'll finish it off with 400 grit and then uh, we'll uh, 2K clear it. Hopefully show off the uh, chopped carbon. Uh, I got the rear deck off. I had to put another layer of uh, epoxy on this. So we'll flat this off and maybe we'll get to shoot it. I'm going to try to take it down far enough to get rid of some of this uh, golden or orangey color, uh, which are bubbles. So we'll flat that down and try to get rid of those as much as possible. <clears throat> the other thing is I'm toying around with is one of these wings, like you can see on the Centenario. Um, and so... Uh, Basically, it goes right here. It's uh, something that will be attachable and detachable, so if we have to get it on a trailer, we can uh, do that. I don't know what kind of finish it'll be. <clears throat> Maybe it'll just be black. Um, we'll sand it down and whatnot. <clears throat> and then it'll attach to the rockers here. And it'll go all the way down uh, to the front of the car. And it'll kind of uh, taper in. So I think it'll look pretty cool, but again, it's something that uh, we can attach and detach as we see fit. Um, but uh, it's nice to have little accessories that you can put on your supercar. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the other thing I've been toying around with, but haven't really pulled the trigger on, is uh, doing a shark fin on the back. Um, I think they look really cool, regardless of what they do on the racetrack. Um, I just think that they're, you know, like on the Veneno, um, it's just a really, really cool, uh, part of the car. And then the new Huracan STO actually has a small shark fin as well. So I don't want to make it gaudy, but, uh, we'll see if we can do that. But, uh, those are some of the things that we're doing. Let's go ahead and flat this down and let me show you, uh, how flat we're getting it. So, uh, stay tuned. So kind of what I've learned is uh, you do, um, this is a kind of an aggressive pad we're going with the 60 grit, but uh, that's just to flat it off and then we use our, our little uh, Durablock uh, block sander and then I also have some guide coat <clears throat> and that shows us kind of the uh, low and high areas on this and then uh, once you're done you run your hand across this it should feel nice and flat and don't look at it just kind of look away and and uh, yeah I know it's a little weird but <clears throat> and this is what we're worried about is a little bit of burn through uh, to the fabric so that <clears throat> that's what we got to keep watch on so that we don't get uh, too through that and then you can see like maybe there's a little low spot there so we might be able to give that a little more attention <clears throat> so i'm going to take a light uh, skim and i'll show you kind of what it looks like before we get to this point so here you can see some of the uh, low spots as we just gave it a little bit of a skim and so we want to work all those out making it nice and flat without burning through so let's go ahead and finish the whole panel and there we go. So 
I'll flat it off and uh, ready to get coated. So we'll, uh, when it warms up, we'll shoot it. Um, but for now, we can't do anything because it's too cold out. And then we're going to go ahead and finish this one up. So, but uh, yeah, starting to get really nice and flat. No warbles, no wobbles. Um, it's a lot of work when you could just, you know, use body filler and paint. But frankly, I think it's going to just make the car stand out. So we're going to keep pounding away at this stuff. So down here, we're printing the rest of our little uh, uh, lip that's going to go on the rocker panel. Uh, I've got a print going on in here. It's kind of hard to see, but suffice it to say, it's working in there. <laughs> um, we also have the wing, because I did notice that the wing was uh, not very flat. So we're working on that. We had some issues on the side here where we had a couple of holes. Um, and what we're doing is we're using the chopped carbon fiber to cover that area. Uh, whoops. Also, uh, what we have is down the spine here, we do have also some areas that need repairing. So what we're going to probably do is do that in the chopped carbon fiber as well. We've also uh, sanded the bottom. Um, you can see the different layers of material there that we've sanded through. So you can see that was pretty uh, wobbly. Um, we're going to lay another layer of epoxy on this. Probably do that today. And then uh, we'll sand that again flat. And I think we'll have a really nice looking wing. So uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it for today. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what you think about some of the ideas that I've brought up today. We uh, uh, love to hear them, especially if they're constructive. Um, so, and uh, we also uh, would like you to go to Lamborghini.com and check out the new Huracan STO. It's a pretty, pretty awesome looking car. The one drawback that I see is it doesn't have my beloved scissor doors. So, <laughs> but that's a detail, I think. Uh, it's a beautiful car. So, anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And uh, we'll see you next time.